Welcome to the Yo Brother Podcast with hosts Dan and Mike Smith. Welcome back to another first look with the Yo Brother Podcast, the one and only Yo Brother Podcast. The one and only first look. The only, uh, yeah, sort of technically. <laughs> Again, let's not get into hash that out. But so, Mike, I'm excited because we're uh, we're doing a review of this. Well, we're going to take a look at this trailer for Killers of the Flower Moon, which is going to be Scorsese, Martin Scorsese's next film. Since starring, the Irishman, right? I believe so. Yeah, With Joe and, Pesci. And, fantastic. Yeah, starring Leonardo DiCaprio, or as Again. we of course call him Leo. Right. Um, De Niro is only when we're on the boat. Yeah, but anyways, let's just get to the trailer and then we'll discuss after because I I don't know anything about it. I haven't seen anything. This is like a, it's what we call a first look, as we've said. You know, you got, you got nice color skin. What color would you say that is? My color. Oh, Sage. They have the worst land possible. But they outsmarted everybody. The land had oil on it. Black gold. Money flows freely here now. I do love that money, sir. (laughs) (laughs) This wealth should come to us. Their time is over. It's just going to be another tragedy. When this money started coming, we should have known it came with something else. They're like buzzards circling our people. We're still warriors. to kill these white men who killed my family. I need you here. I am right here. You've got to take back control of your home. I was uh, sent down from Washington, D.C. to see about these murders. See what about them? See who's doing it. Expecting a miracle to make all this go away. You know they don't happen anymore. Okay, Mike. So, uh, so it did say it's going to be in theaters, but this is also, I believe, I don't know if it's going to be simultaneously streamed on Apple TV, but it's. Uh, it's you it know, said an, Apple exclusive, right? So, so I don't know, you know, if they're going to do the, that. What does that or, mean, but, right? It's not right. till October, or maybe so. it's just we got one of those limited theatrical releases, and then it's, it's primarily what's the runtime? Three hours and some odd minutes. Yeah, it's going to be if it does go into theaters. It's, it's all. It's a, a tough short one. Run. I mean, I think the Irish it hurt the Irishman too, which you know, I right. know. Because I wasn't a, I didn't love that. You really loved that. I like. I have it on Criterion. And you loved Pesci primarily in that. Pesci should have won. I really I know. And you know, it's interesting with this one because I have been shockingly, and most people wouldn't agree with me, but I've been, you know, fairly critical of Mr. De Niro in terms yeah. of his acting chops as someone who, you know, who grew up loving Al Pacino primarily. But and a lot of, you know, they've got a lot of comparisons that are made between them. But but this one right away, I'm sort of like I didn't even recognize his voice that that was him. Mm-hmm. So it says members of the it say Osage tribe. Yeah, I, in the United States, are sure. murdered under mysterious circumstances in the 1920s, sparking a major FBI investigation involving J. Edgar Hoover, Jesse Plemons. I, you know, love Jesse. We, we love Jesse Plemons. He's married to Kirsten Dunst, another great actress, uh, great actor. He, um, it's something about when he steps on film, I get nervous. Like, is the <laughs> dude intimidating or what? There's something about, and in that scene that you saw, yeah. You know, it's very sort of like, you know, I come down to check into these murders. What about them? You know, figure out like who's doing them. 
sent down from Washington, D.C. to see about these murders. See so what about them? See who's doing it. I, just the way he can deliver now, the line. Is, I, I mean, didn't see it. Did it say based on a true story? It did. It or... said based on true American events or something okay. like that, so, I, which, I, which you love. Right, and let's see how historically accurate because right. it's gonna be it's gonna be really looked at. Now, I think I, I saw two different places. One it says October sixth, the other one says October twentieth. So I, I'm not sure which it's gonna end up being. But the screenplay uh, by Eric Roth uh, and Mr. Scorsese, and then of course directed by Scorsese. So it looks really good. I mean, yeah. it looks really really good from, and from just the trailer. It looks like a story that I, I don't know about this story exactly. So uh, that's always good. Uh, estimated budget of two hundred million dollars, so it's no wow. small affair. Yeah, no small affair. Three hours and twenty six minutes runtime. This is um, probably something I would imagine he's had in the works for quite some time. So must be, you know, and yeah. like the Irishman we talk about or you mentioned. And I really liked, and, and I, you know, I'm critical when movies are long. We both are. Yeah. Like the days of 90 minutes and out are, are over, and the theaters. That's why they're not making as much money. Right. But if I had to watch The Irishman and and I was forced to sit in a theater, mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't have liked it. It affects how I yeah. react to the movie. So, yeah, uh, I, I think I watched it over two nights. Right. And it, you know, and took it in. Well, and this be one, the same with this. Yeah. And it's a shame because, like, I think if, if Tom Cruise heard us talking about this, he would say, you know, like, he makes films for the cinema. There's a very specific way to make a movie for cinema, and I make movies for the big screen. Right. Right. As, as I'm sure most of these, these uh, filmmakers do. I mean, that's, they're intended to be viewed in that way. Right. Maybe, maybe right. that's changing, you know, because of the streaming, the dominance of the streaming platforms, but, and, and the direct kind of distribution through the streaming as opposed to, oh, it's in theaters for six months. And then, it, I mean, that just doesn't happen anymore. You know, Plus, back in the day, have... a, a film can marinate in the theaters for weeks Correct. and weeks. And this just doesn't happen. Anymore. In, in fact, Indiana Jones, which, you know, just came out with its fifth iteration. I remember driving to a friend's house and I would go by um, a, a showcase cinema and they would have a sign and it, and it would, I, I remember one, Indiana Jones in its 32nd week. Hmm. You know, they would be in the theater that long. Yeah, it's unheard of. Now unheard of. a movie comes out, what, two months? You're watching it at home? Right, right. In this the one, most? I, again, I'm sure that it would be just uh, spectacular to see on the big screen. But if I, it's I'm, Martin I'm, Scorsese, but it doesn't look like the story really. It's not like Mission Impossible where they're doing all these crazy stunts. And, no, but just just the landscapes and the. I mean, I'm but, sure. You it, know, but I'm gonna watch it at home. You know. you know, we're in the days of everybody has a 65 inch TV, and if well, you, I always like to you, say not everybody, but you know, right, and, those and, that are fortunate enough to have. And, a and if you TV. have an OLED screen, things just pop. You just can't help yourself with the OLED. I, I'm telling like, relax. you, relax. It's not a common uh, adopted technology yet, but no, but it's you know, yeah, my, that price point I, has I to gave come down up, a bit more. Still. I gave up the size of the screen to get OLED. And yeah. I'm glad I did. Well, look, there, there you go. It's a first look. Yeah, uh, Native American story. That, Killers of the Flower Moon. Yeah. Um, and uh, I'll, I'm curious what that title means. I couldn't a, really. Yeah, you mentioned the Native American story, which is, it's, so it's great to see. Mm -hmm. um, I, they're not always portrayed in the, in the right light, of course, through history. But uh, I've been watching the, uh, I'm about to finish Taylor Sheridan series, 1923, 1923 with Harrison Ford and Helen mm -hmm. Mirren and, and others. And, uh, you know, there's a, there's a whole storyline, a native American storyline in there too, which is very well done, but, uh, yeah, it looks great. It looks great. I'm yeah. looking forward to seeing it. So yeah, first look killers of the flower moon out in October of 2023 folks, that's going to do it for another episode of the Your brother podcast. Been your host, Dan Smith alongside me as always, my brother from the same mother, Mike Smith, and we will see you next time. Bye everyone.